underway. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. Lots of time left in this period. The speeders lead this one to zip. Montreal's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Handles the puck. Looks to set up at the point now. Takes a nice feed into the corner. Taken along the wall by Felix. And it's a quick pass to Vaji Holahi. Takes the return feed. Vaji Holahi's got the puck. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. Montreal's got it along the wall. Back at the point, they set it up. Gets the puck over to Abdullah. Sends it across. From Parker. Wow. Scores. They're right back in it. They get one to trail by one. There's still time left to look for the equalizer. Montreal's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. The speeders continue to be in the right place at the right time. Another intercepted pass. And he slides it quickly to Felix. Slides the puck down low. Through pass ahead. Moves the puck. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. They've got numbers. Keeps hold of the puck. From against the wall into the open ice. Couldn't find the intended target. The speeders have it now. Through center along the wing. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Takes the feed. Nice pass. Slides the puck over. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Smashing hit. Was it ever. He went right over top of him. They've got the defense outnumbered. To the low slot. Oh, aggressive move as he pokes it away. Headman pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. Right on the doorstep. Can't connect. And they can't connect. Takes control of the puck. Loses his balance on the play. Here he is in the open ice. On the ball. Scores. What a goal. Nice hands. Great finish. Little short break and it's in the net. Here in the late goings of the period, Montreal's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Martin's got the puck in his own zone. Here's an odd man rush. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Here he is all alone. Oh, my, what a save. A close game, and he's able to make that stop. James, remember that as this game rolls to its conclusion. And that's blocked. Under a minute to go in the third. Big play inside the defensive zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Wax it into the offensive zone. Up along the wing. From center, they get into the attacking area. Sends the pass over. Way to throw it! Montreal's come back with a big one here in the third. Grind away, dig away, now you've got a chance. Only trailing by one goal. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. From one point man to another. Fails to find the open man. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Montreal's going to play it from the corner. The Aces gain possession along the wall. Knocked away. Slides the puck across to Abdullah. Here's a pass down low. And that's picked off. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. A big win, but kind of a funky way how we got here tonight. Yeah, that was not the smoothest of roads that they traveled, and they still found enough to pull out the W.
along with Ray Ferraro down at ice level. My name is James Sabalski. Should be a fun one tonight as we send it down to ice level. Ray, what are you looking for tonight? Why well, always the team that's most aggressive. You get on the body, you create some turnovers. Once you create some turnovers, you're able to attack them. I think this game will be decided by who's up on their front foot more often. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening faceoff. The speeders take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Angles it over to Abraderis and sends it just out of reach. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Important draw for him. The players are tired after the icing. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. In all alone on the breakaway! And that fizzles out. I'm not sure what his intention was going to be there, James, but oh. he ran out of real estate. On the attack along the boards. And he takes a shot. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Along the half wall with the puck. And that one's broken up. Felix has got it in the offensive end. A chance on goal. Comes up with the stop. Still lots of time left in the period. Still no score in this one. The Americans take possession off the faceoff. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Pittsburgh's on the attack. The Americans played along the wing. Right to the middle. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Abraderis brings it in. Here they are on the attack. Slides it over with pace. He's all alone with the goaltender. What a stop by the goaltender. He's right in position as he follows the shooter and snuffs that chance away. The Americans gain control of the puck against the wall. Montreal's got it in the neutral zone. Couldn't connect on that pass. Receives the pass. Quick feed to Abraderis. Excellent stick work on the play. He was locked in there. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. One on one with the goaltender. Here we go. And can't convert. James, he's so close to making a change in this game, but he doesn't get the shot off. Puck picked up in the open ice. One timer, and that one's blocked. And he denied that opportunity. Past the midway mark in this period, the game is still scoreless. Montreal's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Now a quick pass to Felix. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Passes right to the front. Puck picked up by Felix. Grabs it in his own end. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Sends a pass over. And now he moves it quickly to Abraderis. The Americans carry it along the wall. Takes the pass. Jabs the puck away. The speeders look out. Here's a 2 on 0 And that's a busted play. Great effort to come all the way back. Beaten at one end. Turns it aside at the other. Tremendous hustle. Cuffs up possession of the puck. There's the horn bringing period number one to an end. Still no... Two more periods still to come. We'll be right back. Here on EA Sports.
Along with Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. Both teams still feeling each other out after a scoreless 20. Let's see if that changes here in period number two. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Americans' coaches would have told their player, play the same way. We had the puck a lot. I know the game's scoreless, but we're doing everything right. There's the collision. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. And here's the pass to Martin. And we've got a two-on-one. We're swimming close. Scores! The speeders finally, finally get on the board here in the second. Maybe a little bit of an exhale from them too, James, because they've dominated the play thus far. No kidding. And probably a little unlucky only to lead one nothing. Felix has got it through center. It's a two-on-one. To his teammate. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Long pass across the ice. Takes the feed. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Montreal's up one zip. The speeders win the faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Felix. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Puck scooped up by Everdaris. Right in front. And that one's broken up. Trying to shake the defender. Here's a chance. Slides it across. Oh, what a stop. Goaltender comes up big in good position to make the save. Move to the middle. Can't connect. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. They've got numbers. In close. Off the stick. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Picked up along the boards by Everdaris. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. The Americans take it across the line. Handles the puck. Right out front. And they can't convert to the play. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. That pass goes a little sideways. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. past the midway mark of the frame we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone possession earned on the draw James we'll see if they can set something up and the lane's clogged up blocking that from the left side they enter the attacking zone Montreal's playing it from the side denied by the goaltender he got all of that hit on the play Tries to get the puck over to Aberderis. They've got the defense outnumbered. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's got it across the line. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Plays the puck up ahead. Saw scores! His second of the night! Oh, things go well for you if you score multiple times in a game. This Pittsburgh's won it. Smart defensive play there. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Montreal's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. Shot tipped in front, and that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. Horn sounds bringing the second period to an end. Do we dare jinx them and use the word shutout? I guess I just did. 2 nothing after 40.
Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action ready to go. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? The Americans continue to be close in this game, which is maybe a little bit of a miracle. They don't have very much in the way of shots on goal. Dismiss that chance. Franks moving the puck through his own zone. Abradaris plays it against the boards. Pass across to Vajihulahi. Pushes it across to Felix. The speeders looking against the half wall. Moves it to Vajihulahi. His reflexes on display tonight. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. The Americans win it in the defensive zone. Looks to make a play over to Frank. The speeders have the puck now. Gains the zone through the middle. Here's a chance, a 2 on 0 Deflected away, nice defensive use of the stick there. Slides it quickly, scores! And they are on a man now, Razor. You can start to see this game's gonna run away if the goal scoring doesn't slow down here. Montreal's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro School of Hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after you, goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. And now it's grabbed by Felix. Martin's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Rocks him on the play. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And that's blocked. The Americans get a hold of the puck along the boards. Pittsburgh's moving it into the offensive end. Montreal's ready to go on the attack. On the one-timer, great stop by the goaltender off the glove. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The speeders have it against the wall. Works it across to Felix. Can't find his man. Pittsburgh's gained possession. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. There are times you try... He's got a step! Here's a chance. Right in the slot! Score! Once he gets clear of everybody chasing him, now he's got his head up, and he finishes his breakaway beautifully. Montreal's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Scooped up along the wall by Felix. And they send it right back to him. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. With the steal. The Americans are on the attack. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the wall. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Felix. Look out, a two-on-one. Sends it across. Scores! No chance for the puck. The speeders are in cruise control here, but they're showing no signs of letting up. No, the lesson began about two hours ago, and it's not class out yet. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Manages to hang on. He hits a 2 on 0 He scores! It's in! And that's three! He's the most surprised guy in the building. Look at the way he reacted when that puck went into the net. Outstanding effort. The speeders have not stopped the firepower display tonight. You impressed down there? It's like they're going downhill the whole game. The, their opponent hasn't been able to keep up at any level tonight. Stays with it. Montreal's got it in the offensive zone. Drives to the paint. And that goes off course. Hitting the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Answered the call there. There's the whistle icing the call. Montreal's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time. Up big time late in this third. Taken by Martin. Pittsburgh's going to play the puck from behind the cage. The speeders gain possession along the wall. 
And that one's broken up. Frank scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. And the officials waving off icing here. The speeders take possession in the defensive end. Here he is in the open ice on the breakaway. Oh, how did he keep that one? James Sabalski along with Ray Ferraro here on the EA Sports Broadcast crew ready to bring you a fun one tonight. As we send it down ringside to Ray Ferraro, you look at these two teams and the way they operate from special teams, this could be a key area tonight. Yeah, both teams were talking this morning about the need to stay out of the penalty box. Don't give the opportunity for the other team's power play to get rolling. Centers both set to dig on in and we are about ready to go. The speeders start with possession as we are now underway. Felix has got it against the boards. Nice poke check. True North's got the puck along the boards. Nice pass. And they'll be forced to reach, trying to gain a step. Felix has got it along the wing. Still plenty of time left in this frame. one nothing the score. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Sends it over, scores! Hard to get a buck quicker than that. A pair of goals in 40 seconds. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Puck grabbed by Serrano. Slides it over to Rodriguez. Centering pass, and he stands tall in goal. And now it's over to Serrano. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. And great hustle to come up with the puck. And now he moves it to Benjamin. 
Montreal's got the puck against the boards. Quick pass to Martin. Couldn't complete the play. Picked up along the wall by Martin. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Directed over to Vaji Holahi. Move to the middle. Montreal's got the puck in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Benjamin. And we've got a two-on-one. Takes a shot. That's off a stick. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. An all-out sprint and icing is waved off. Yeah, the officials looking at both players to see who can get to the top of the circle first where they blow the icing. It That's three consecutive goals. Now the goalie keeps looking over to the coach saying, why am I still in here? Three straight for them. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Montreal's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Nothing doing on that. Hangs onto the puck. Off his stick, and that one's blocked. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's an odd man rush. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Slides it across to Martin. In all alone on the breakaway. And that just falls apart. No way to recover from that. That's a good-looking play that leads to nothing. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Knocked away. Grabs the puck in the slot. Couldn't complete the play. True North got it against the boards. Play whistled dead because of an offside. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The speeders are in cruise control, leading it 3-0. Montreal's won the draw in the neutral zone. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Set it out in front. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. A howitzer. What a stop. Here, he scores. Oh, with the goal tipping on the other side, you're never dead. They're now down by two. In the final moments of this period... Montreal still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Felix has won the draw. Montreal's on the attack. And it's a quick pass to Vaji Holahi. Handles the puck at the point. Vaji Holahi's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. No one home on that play. Right on the doorstep. Shot. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. The setters will glide into the dot. Puck picked up by Martin. Felix has got it in the offensive zone. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Rodriguez moves it into the attacking end. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. And there's the horn mercifully bringing this first period to an end. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Second period set to get underway. It was a disaster first. Here we go. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? True North's probably in a spot that they deserve to be in. They haven't had the puck very much. Of course they're going to be chasing the game. Benjamin's got it across the line. The speeders gain control of the puck against the wall. Here they are on the attack. True North's got control of it now from their own end. Moves the puck. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. 
Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here's the pass. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. It's a two-on-one. Benjamin's going to play it against the half wall. Slides the puck away. Oh, he scores! They've given themselves a little bit of a chance here. James just opened the door for a little light. Can they find another one to really make it close? Something to build on, right, Razor? You just got to have something to believe in. This is it. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Quick pass across to Martin. The speeders take it along the wall. Into the corner, he takes the pass. Great glove save. Rodriguez moves the puck. Handles it again. Puck set across the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Serrano. He got all of that hit. He's doing the best he can here. He just wants to get himself off the ice as quickly as he can. Scores! The captain delivers! Montreal's offensive surge continues here in the second. This is a tidal wave. They have swept right over top of them tonight. It's not even close. Let's it go! Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. He was telling me this morning he worked on this in practice this week, making sure the puck goes to the corner and doesn't stay in the net. Well, that's going to be... Whistle blows, and we've got a penalty shot. Tripped up on the breakaway. The ref makes the right call in signaling for a penalty shot. Well, I think he'd love a mulligan on this one, but he won't get one. Here in the back half of this period, Montreal's got a three-goal lead. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Felix. And he puts that one aside with ease. Moves the puck across to Serrano. Sends the pass over. Oh, he rocked him! A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Montreal's got the puck against the half wall. Receives the pass. He scores! That's the hat trick! Oh, what a great feeling to get three goals in a game. Doing it on the road is a, is a real nice trick. Puck scooped up by Martin. Sends a pass over. Tries to get the puck to Felix. Here they come, three of them. To his teammate, and that's blocked. Passes on over to Rodriguez. Takes the pass. Montreal's got the puck in their own end. And the middle frame almost done. Takes that pass back at the point. And he totally whiffs on that one. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Montreal's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Felix has won it. Sure look tilted after 40 minutes of play as the second period comes to an end. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ray's ready. The players are ready. Let's go. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 Take minutes played off, so loser. far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? True North's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's going to change, they've got to get the puck and hold on to it much more. Sends one up to Benjamin. Reads the pass perfectly and takes it off. With possession along the wall. Centered out in front. Can't connect. True North's gained possession along the boards. 
Gives it right back. Slides it back to the blue line. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Swing and a miss. Montreal's got the puck. Strong defensive effort. Slides it diagonally to Benjamin. Can't connect. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. And now it's grabbed by Martin. And he slides it quickly to Felix. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. That goes wide. Montreal's grabbed a hold of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Here's a chance. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a blast. Just wide of the net. Wagner's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage in play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Rodriguez setting up against the wall. Takes the feed. Quick feed Take to Serrano. Off, and they fail to go tape to tape. Montreal's look break away. Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Really good work by the defender to close the gap. Back to the blue line. And the puck leaves the zone. The speeders scoop it up along the boards. Hammers the one-timer. Oh, couldn't finish the job. What an excellent opportunity, Ray. They worked their way into good shape. He's just not able to beat the goalie. Takes the feed. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Moves it to Vaggie Holahi. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Quick feed down low. And a strong effort on that play. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. He's going to need some help here. He's pretty clearly struggling on the ice. Banged up in this shift somewhere. Just wants to get the puck out to center ice and get the heck off the ice. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. Now a quick pass to Vaji Holahi. Good defensive effort to poke it away. One-time blast. Good night. Him on the one timer in all alone. Denies him with a big time save. He thought he had him beat, but the goalie gets over to make a great stop. Martin's got the puck. Montreal's got it along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Vaji Holahi. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. With the blast, shuts him down. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. My broadcast partner in crime, Ray Ferraro, is still between the benches. I feel for that goaltender tonight. Man, he's going to have nightmares about the number of shots that he faced. It's like every time he turned around, it was a shot, a rebound, another rebound. Holy, his skaters in front of him didn't help him at all. Zero.
do they belong? They manhandled their previous competition. Let's see what they can carry that over here tonight. Hi, everyone. James Sabalski and Ray Ferraro ready to bring you all this EASHL action. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. The Elite have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. The Warhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Now he slides it up to Billy. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. And now he passes up to Billy. Moves the puck along the half wall. Out front! A quick one here! And look at this! The first goal of the game! Man, I don't even think anyone's really settled into the game yet. And already we have the game's first goal. The good thing he one times this puck. The goalie almost gets there. But the pass is on his tape in the low slot. And he beats him clean. The Warhawks are back at center ice. And with it, a 1-0 lead. You'd like to start quickly. This is about as perfectly as you can. At home, crowd behind you, and an early lead. Quick pass to Smith. Handles the puck. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. And that one's broken up. Taken by Brown. Billy swooping in on the attack. Centering pass. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Here's a short pass to King. And he regains control of the puck. Drives it to the crease. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. Billy's still trying to shake off the effects of this hit. He really took a thump there. Still lots of time left in the period. Boston's ahead, 1-0. Puck grabbed by Brown. Moves it quickly over to Suarez. Belleville's got possession here in the neutral zone. And he moves it up to King. Moves inside! Scores! Rolling it up! It's amazing, isn't it? We played this time. Again, that's a big goal. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Nice job tying up his opponent. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Unloads from the point. Too many bodies in the way. That knocks him off the puck. The Warhawks ready to go on the attack. The Elite have taken possession along the wall. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Here's a shot. Scores! the puck! I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. The Elite have come to play tonight as they've taken a lead. I like the way they've played this first part of the period, James. They've been quick. They've been on pucks. They've had the majority of shots and really do deserve the one-goal lead. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Quick feed to King. Gets in front of it. Here he is on the rebound! Great reflexes. Another save. And that slides right out to center ice. Grabbed along the board by Smith. King's got it in the defensive end. A little back and forth. Gets it to the other point. On the attack along the boards. King's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Near the point. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Billy's stick handling in his own zone. And he handles the cross-ice pass. He might have a step here. Sends it over. Stones him on the breakaway. Here in the late going of the frame, Belleville's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. Kings won the draw. Moves it to Vachy Holahi. Tees him up. Standing tall with the save. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. 
Right in front of the net, and they can't connect. Made that stop. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Oh, he'll feel that one. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Belleville's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Suarez quick on the draw. And he got right over top of that one. That's a big face-off win for him. Handles the pass from the right wing. Love save made by Wagner. Teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. And now he tries to get it across to King. Along the half wall with the puck. Here he is, wristed on net, blocked in traffic. King's dangerous and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. The elite have gained possession off the wall. And now he angles it across to Smith. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Denies him with the save. Puck picked up by Suarez. Boston's on the attack and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. How did he stop that one? Smothered that in close chance. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Belleville's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Suarez wins the draw on their own end. And he gains the zone here. Nice pass. Big time stop. Flailing at it with his stick to try to get control. Belleville's got a hold of it against the wall. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Belleville's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Boston's looking to break out. Tries to get it to Billy. Intercepts the pass at center. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. All alone! Oh, what a stop by the goaltender. I thought he was beaten, but he makes a nice stop here. Now over to Brown. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Coughs it up on the play. Taken along the wall by Suarez. The elite have the puck against the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Nice pass back. Moves the puck. Billy's got it now deep inside his own end. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. The elite have possession at center. Picks off the feed. Suarez plays it now. Carries the puck up through center. And now it's grabbed by Brown. Good heads up play to knock it away. Quick pass to Vagiholahi. 
Picking up some steam at center ice. Boston's got the puck in their own end. Couldn't make that one happen. Puck scooped up by Suarez. They've got numbers. Strong defensive effort. Tries to feed it over to Vaji Holahi. Billy's got it against the boards. Slides it across. Belleville's got a hold of it along the wall. Race for the puck here. Icing waved off on the play. Can't connect. Period comes to an end, and lucky us, we've got one more period to go in what has been a fun one this evening. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Boston's been chasing this game and chasing the puck much of the first two periods. If they're going to get back in it, they've got to possess the puck a lot more. Belleville's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Here's a shot with the stop. We're still in the early stages of this period. Belleville's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Belleville's gained possession along the boards. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Suarez has it in the defensive end. And now it's over to Brown. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. And now he moves it to Vaji Holahi. Belleville's got the puck against the boards. One-timer! Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. Belleville's still in the same spot. That's a good scoring chance where the puck hits the pipe and stays out. From against the wall, it's centered out. And that one's blocked! Boston's got the puck along the wall. Taken by Brown. Moves the puck into the D zone. Belleville's got possession at center. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. And he comes up with a big stop on the breakaway. Almost like the shooter waited and waited and the opening never came. Belleville's got the edge in the shot department. A big reason why they lead here in this third period. Suarez has it in their own end. Gains the zone from the right side. The elite have gained control of the puck along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Suarez plays the puck. Angles it over to King. Look out, a two-on-one. Can't hang on after that hit. Sends it ahead to Billy. From the left side, takes it at center. Here's a short pass to Suarez. Puts it on net, and that one's stopped. Picked up along the boards by Brown. And play continues here. The Warhawks gain control of the puck against the wall. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Suarez. The Elite have possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Smith. 
Receives the pass. Lays into the body on the play. Oh, he looks like he's banged up there. He's going to try and finish the shift, but he's pretty clearly not at 100%. Big play inside the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Smith. Belleville's got a hold of the puck. And now he tries to get it across to King. He got robbed again. He's got a step. Oh, what a stop by the goaltender. Uh, he makes an excellent stop. One-on-one -on -one with the shooter. He follows him nicely to make the stop. Huge. Belleville's got the puck along the boards. Trying to dump it out. Linesmen wave off the ice and they'll keep playing. That was a brutal play, but he kept the puck alive by hustling down in front of the defense. Picked up along the wall by Smith. That's not going to fool him. Quick feed to Brown. And that's broken up with a stick in front. The elite have taken possession along the wall. Moves it on over to King. Stopped by the goaltender. And there's the final horn bringing this one officially to an end. So what's your assessment of this one tonight, right? Uh, two complete. It's long, but the spot is really exciting and had all the goals in it. In the last 40 minutes, while well, nothing happened, nobody scored. I'm James Sabalski, along with Ray Ferraro. We are so looking ...self into trouble by taking an unnecessary penalty. That might very easily be the difference in this game. Opening face-off just moments away. The North Stars start with possession as we are now underway. Centered out in front. Off target. 
The elite have gained possession off the wall. Skates to the crease. Takes the puck at the point. Vajrahulahi's got it in the corner. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Slides the puck across to Vaji Hulahi. Moves it to King. Pass back to the point. Scores! What you gonna do? The Elite have the game's first goal, and it didn't take long, Ray. No, they get to roll everybody through their lineup. You want to get everyone involved, and you've got an early goal. What a great start. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Can't keep a hold of it. Slides the puck over. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Hammers the shot. Denies him. He got all of it. Smith's lugging the puck. Maintains possession. And now he angles it across to Vaji Holahi. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Sends the pass over. Fires the one timer. He scores! Aye, aye, captain! We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Belleville's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Puck grabbed by Smith. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Armstrong's won the draw here in the open ice. And we've got a two-on-one. From the slot, fires away, denies that opportunity. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Armstrong's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Here's a chance out front. Works it across to King. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Easy peasy right there by Wagner. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. It's a 2 on -0. Oh, Quick pass to... Oh, you're not going to get many chances better than this. It's you and the goaltender. The North Stars get a hold of the puck along the boards. It's a two-on-one. Great hand eye by the goaltender, poking it away. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. Bellville's got it in the offensive zone. After the ice, puts it in for the hat trick! You gotta finish him off, the chances are there, but you still gotta put him away. It's a great play, and now we can celebrate his three-goal night. Now, would you ever wear one of those shuffles? Not a chance. Would you wear someone else's hat? Absolutely not. Bellville's taken advantage of their opportunities offensively so far here in this first. More shots, more goals. Grabbed along the board by Smith. And now it's over to Vaji Holahi. Canada's got a hold of it against the wall. Pokes the puck away. The elite have it now. Canada's looking to break out of their own end. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. And he slides it quickly to Benoit. Couldn't connect on that pass. Fires it into the offensive corner. There's the whistle icing the call. Benoit's on the ice here. And as the captain of this team, if they're ever going to get back into the game, he's going to have to be at the lead. They've got to make something happen. Here he is, all alone. Here he is from the side.
It's a hot ticket tonight, and we here at EA Sports are so excited to bring it to you. Along with Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Let's get ready to play this one. Final thoughts before we get this one underway? Really an important game, really a game that the players are excited about. You can hear the chatter on the benches between the players. They want to get going. They're nervous to start. Two teams looking starved for a win, and we are set to go. The Elite have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. This period, we've still got zeros on the board. Puck is dropped, we're back underway, and he shimmies around him with the puck. Smart defensive play there. The Roosters scoop it up along the boards. And he coughs it up with the pass. Kings Cave scores! The captain leading by example! The Elite have taken a 1-0 lead, and it comes pretty quick here in this opening frame. They were talking about getting off to a good start. They played those first couple of shifts very well. Now they have the first goal. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Taken along the wall by Smith. Cuts into the paint. Makes the save. Oh, that's a tough one, but a good stop. Well, he didn't even get the opportunity with an illegal action on the penalty shot, stopping that sort of potential opportunity. Harambe's won it in their own end. Sends a pass over. Delayed. He's calling a penalty shot. Tripped up on the play while he's in the clear. The penalty shot is the right call. Makes the stop under pressure. Nowhere to go. The puck's got no lane into the net. The goalie does an outstanding job. Kings won the faceoff. Takes the feed from the wing. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Thunderous use of the body of the hit. Yeah, sending a message early there, James. He gets the body contact. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. That pass doesn't go. Carolina's across the blue line. The Elite have the puck against the boards. And there's the save. Picked up along the boards by Smith. Gains the zone from the right. Moves into the slot. Close save, and he handles it with ease. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Jostling for the puck, and it's knocked away. Takes the pass. Carolina's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Manages to hang on. And oh, oh, thunderous hit. He thought he had all kinds of room. There was none. He thought he could get by him, but he got squeezed off. That was a big hit. Takes the feed. He scores! Lights the lamp of the one-timer! Quick release beats the goaltender. I think the goalie felt it. He was in the perfect position. He didn't really move too much, but just inside the post. Kings won possession. Vajahula, he's got it along the wing. Here's the chance. He scores! You get one, you want to think about a second one. It doesn't matter if you're at home or on the road, but you do this on the road, you feel a great accomplishment. And there's the one hat that he gets for scoring on the road. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. He grabs the puck here at the point. Takes a shot, and that banks off a stick. Good use of the body on the play. Takes the feed at center ice now. He grabs the puck. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. That's going to be frustrating for him. He Referee stops the play. We've got a penalty shot on the way. Vajahula, he's got the puck, and here he comes. Wow, it completely misses the net on the penalty shot. 
And that's been in the same place for a hundred years. You gotta hit it. Belleville's been the better team here in the late stages of this first period. More shots, more goals. Simple as that. On the doorstep, backhander. Made the stop on that play. Belleville's been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution. They take possession as he lofts them up off the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Smith. Denies him on the slapper. There's another stop. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Grabs the puck in the corner. Move to the middle. Just can't complete that pass. Oh, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. Picks up a head of steam, and the officials wave off the icing. He wasn't going to give up on that puck. He beats the defenseman to it. Takes a shot. Oh! The first period in the books, and not a moment too soon. What a performance, at least at one end. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Second period set to get underway. It was a disaster first. Here we go. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Belleville's game plan has been executed almost to perfection. They've had the puck the whole time, and they have a pretty comfortable lead. Stays with it. Moves it quickly over to Smith. Carolina's got control of it now from their own end. And he'll go line up for his penalty shot. Here's the moment of truth. Hope, a chance. Hey, it's here. Something. Time isn't the enemy yet. King's got it in the offensive zone. Forces the turnover. Handles the puck. Here he is in front. Whiffs on that. And they can't convert to the play. Played big in the moment there. Dead center. Excellent save. Bang on passes. Center in the neutral zone. Sends it across. Not able to connect. Scooped up along the wall by Smith. The Roosters have it against the wall. Breakaway! And that just falls apart. No way to recover from that. That's a good-looking play that leads to nothing. Throws one up to Harambe. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. The Roosters gain possession along the wall. Excellent stick work on the play. He got all of that one. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. You'll need more than that to beat. This period, the Roosters are down a pair. And it's a quick pass to King. Here's a chance. Keeps hold of the puck. Here's the pass. From the blue line. And the long-range shot goes off target. Over the line they come. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Jabs the puck away. Denies him in front. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Belleville's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that. And they lead as a result. And he slides it quickly to Vaji Holahi. Carolina's gained possession along the boards. Now a quick pass to Harambe. Slides it to Smith. With possession along the wall. 
Oh, just a textbook hit. And that pass goes awry. The Roosters get a hold of it. Hangs onto the puck. Steps into all of that. Can't connect. Grabs the puck. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Moves it over to Vaji Holahi. All alone. Sends it over. Yeah. here late in the second puck picked up in the open ice right up front knocked away trying to get it down the ice less than a minute to go here in the second and they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off uses the force on that hit quick feed to Smith and now he moves it to King There's the horn, ending period number two. Might almost be a mercy rule in some ways. Third period action. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ray's ready. The players are ready. Let's go. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Belleville's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Puck picked up by Smith. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. Off his own teammate, no luck. Now, nah, wrong place, wrong time. The puck stays in the zone. Quick pass across. To no one back to 2 on 0.
should be an exciting affair. And along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski, set to bring you all the commentary here on EA Sports. Ray Ferraro's down between the benches. Razor, what are you hearing down there? Well, two different things, really. The home team's talking about maintaining a four check, controlling the puck down low, get some zone time. The visitors are talking about pucks to the net, traffic in front of the goaltender, try to make it difficult for him. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. The Elite have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Nice pass. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Look out, a two-on-one. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. And he caught him when he wasn't looking. What a hit. Pacheco's going to play it to the corner. And he regains control of the puck. Belleville's got a hold of it along the wall. Sends it quickly to King. Moves the puck. Cuts to the front. Yeah. He scores! And this place got quiet quick. Well, that's the way you want to start on the road. You talk about getting early momentum. Nothing better than that. The Elite have taken a quick lead here in the first. That's a pretty clean script for them right now. Out of the gate quickly, an early goal. And now try to build upon that on the road. Moves it to King. Receives the pass. And that one's broken up. Solid check to slow him down. And now it's grabbed by Pacheco. Belleville's got the puck along the wall. Sends the pass down low. And now he moves it quickly to Vaji Holahi. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Quick pass to Smith. Slides the puck over. Takes the pass. And the puck departs the zone. Here's a short pass to King. Sends the pass over. And he passes it up ahead to Vaji Holahi. Can't catch up to the pass. King's dangerous and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. Can't maintain possession. Gets control of the puck right in front of his own end. Pacheco's taking it from his own end. Pokes the puck away. Taken by Pacheco. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. And he slides it quickly to King. Here he is, shot right in front. Makes the save with the pad. The elite have possession along the boards. Scores! The captain comes through. Belleville's come to play tonight, Ray. Still so much time left. This is the way you play, though. Just attack and never relent. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Belleville's got it in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to King. Nothing doing on that. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Can't find his man. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Smith. Looks to set up at the point now. Quick shot, and he comes up with a huge stop. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Grabs it in his own end. Moves it to Pacheco. Sends it in deep. Belleville's got the puck along the boards. And it's a quick pass to King. Toronto's got the puck. Sends it over to Goodman. He's got a step. Great save. Oh, I thought he was going to beat him, but the goalie comes up large. Well, it's an opportunity for fans to stretch their legs here as the opening 20 minutes comes to an end and a chance for these players to catch their breath. The rink fairly tilted to one side after the first 20. They lead it 2-0. And we're about... 
timeout set to drop the puck here on period number two. Kings won the draw. Puck scooped up by Smith. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Vaji Hulahi. And that's picked off. And here's the pass to Goodman. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Picking up ahead of steam. Oh, the breakaway! Kings it. You're dealing with checkers, you're dealing with the line matchup, and it doesn't matter where you are, three is a great night. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Looks like there's a delay, and they're awarding a penalty shot here. Pretty easy call, I think, James. He's out clear, and he gets tripped up. As soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. And here we go. Big save and three the sigh of relief. James, he was in great position there. He's not fooled at all, and he shuts it down. Belleville's offense has come to play in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. Quick pass to Pacheco. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The elite have taken possession in their own end. Cutting to the front of the net. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Moves around along the half wall. Gets it back. King's been all over the place. It's like there's two of them on the ice. He's already got three points. He scores again! Well, you get one, you think you might get two, but after a while, you're like, hey, how many can I get? The puck keeps coming to him, and he keeps finishing it off. Belleville's continue to extend the lead here, and they look like they are on fire tonight. Terrific hockey game they played. From the goaltender on out, they've carried this play. Puck grab by Goodman. And that one's broken up. Look out. Here's a 2 on -oh. Breaks it up with a poke check. That is as frustrating as anything. You don't even really get a shot as the goalie outthinks you. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Referee blows the whistle, and we've got ourselves a penalty shot. As the defender's chasing him here, he gets his stick tied up in the shooter's feet, trips him up, and it costs a penalty shot. Scores! The shooter has to remain patient as he goes in on the penalty shot. He does a nice job and finishes it off. The professionals still have a lot of time to work with, but they also have still a long way to go. They got to get way more pucks to the net here. They haven't done a very good job at all here in the first half of this hockey game, and as a result, they're way behind. Nice poke check. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Picked up along the wall by Smith. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Scores! The captain delivers! Belleville's brought their offensive A game here in this, and it's only the second. I think that's probably the, the bad news for the other team. It's still the second period, as you mentioned. They've dominated this game start to finish. Vajra Hulahi's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a short pass to King. Sends a pass over and makes the save. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Belleville's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Kings won the draw. Here's the chance to set up now. And he slides it quickly to King. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Belleville's looking to break out of their own end. Wax away at the loose puck. Gets it out of his own end. Gets the puck over to Pacheco. Takes the return feed. And the puck's back Whoa. on his blade here at center. And we've got a two-on-one. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Breakaway! Centering pass! Wow. Scores! He had to be ready for this puck to end up on his stick. He doesn't take any time at all. The goalie's not set. It's in the net. The Elite have scored yet another one. They probably don't want to go to the room here. They have scored 
at a crazy pace. They get into the zone, create a chance. You expect every shot to go in. Makes a move in front. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Gains the zone through the middle. Moves the puck along the half wall. Right on the doorstep, and that's broken up. And the officials waving off icing here. And they can't connect. There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they wanted it to end. The officials are set. The players are set. Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Sabolski. Let's go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? Toronto's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's going to change, they've got to get the puck and hold on to it much more. Drives to the sweet wow. spot. He scores! That's how you do it. Leadership to a T. The captain capitalizes. The elite have continued to apply the pressure here in this third period. I think even if they try to take the pressure off, it's not going to matter. They're just the better team. Smith's got the puck in his own zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Belleville's got it along the wall. And that's picked off in front. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. What a stop as he puts out the fire. The professionals have it against the wall. Goodman's got the puck. Moves right to the middle, and that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Pacheco. On the attack along the boards. Puck picked up by Pacheco. Centered out in front, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And the puck is knocked away. Big time stop there. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. No one home on that play. And they fail to go tape to tape. Drives to the paint. Back to the point it goes. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Here's an odd man rush. All alone. And that falls apart. Well, that's disappointing. Nothing out of something that looked dangerous. Belleville's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Pass right on the doorstep, and that one's broken up. Up along the wing. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Toronto's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. And now it's grabbed by Goodman. Along the half wall with the puck. The elite have it in their own zone. He's got a step. Oh, man. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Maintains possession. Wagner's at the bench, allowing for the extra attacker to jump on. On the still have a lot of catching up to do but they have something to build on now yeah they do and i think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the end of the game oh, you went there huh?
team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. And out comes the extra attacker with the goaltender parked on the bench. From center, they get into the attacking area. He scores! there tonight but Ray I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench yeah half the guys out here are having fun the other half this game can't end quick enough the professionals and that goes off the iron and stays out Toronto's game has been pretty good at both ends of the ice but they can't get a bounce offensively and as a result those shots off the post aren't helping them they still trail Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. There's the whistle. Penalty shot the call. He broke free. It looks like he's in all alone until he gets tripped up. This is the right call. Here's the moment of truth. Comes up with a huge stop. He was right on the move there. Belleville's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Toronto's got possession here in their own end. He's got a little jump. Driving right to the front, denies him! Oh, excellent stop by the goaltender. He read that perfectly. Here's an offensive chance. Into the corner of the attacking area.
big one on the ice tonight, and along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Stavalski, ready to call all the action. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ringside. Ray, how do you see this one playing out tonight? I made a living on the power play. I look at two teams that really can score on the power play. When you get your chance, it may easily come down to who's able to execute it better than the other. Setters both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Elite have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. Just wide. Takes control of the puck. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Oh, did you hear that? That was a breakaway. Nothing doing. Tried to make the perfect shot. Doesn't execute it. Right to the middle from point blank. Stones up with the blocker. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Moves it quickly over to King. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. The Elite have the puck in the defensive zone. Circles back to center ice. Quick feed to Smith. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The game is still scoreless. Belleville's won it from the neutral zone now. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Face-off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Vajahula, he's got it against the boards. Turns him away. Collateral damage has got the puck along the boards. Philadelphia's looking to break out. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Manages to hang on. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Takes it at center. Collateral damage has got the puck along the wall. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Belleville's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Smith. Couldn't complete the play. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Quick pass to PTP. Takes the feed. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Belleville's got the puck here in the open ice. It's a two on a. What's she gonna do? Belleville's got the game's first goal just past the midway mark of the first. What's the mindset now here? They were just talking on the bench. Let's go get another. I like it. You're up one. Be aggressive. Go push the other team against the wall. Oh, what a save in front. Taken along the wall by Harmon. Takes the feed. Collateral damage has got the puck against the boards. It's There's the physical side. Huge steal in his own end. Belleville's turned this game into a really tight affair because he scores! The captain leading by example! Belleville's come to play tonight. What are you seeing out there, Ray? Aggressiveness, execution, almost a perfect first period now that they've doubled this lead to two. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Cuts to the paint. Gives them nothing in front. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Collateral damage has got the puck. And nothing doing on that play. Ah, he had a good chance there. He tries to slide it through. Gets denied. Puck moved over to Vaji Holahi. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. He scores! I thought they were going to run out of time. This is a terrific time to strike here. Now you carry over the intermission. You come out for the next period feeling really good about yourself. Belleville's offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. Both teams. 
Marines get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. They're ready to drop the puck here on period number two. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Taken by Smith. Feeds it to King. That's taken away. Here he is all alone. And he totally whiffs on that one. And that's broken up. He uses his skating and his stick to sweep the puck away to prevent the scoring chance. One on one with the goaltender. And that doesn't lead to anything. Apparently he wasn't open enough. He doesn't even really get a dangerous chance. Puck scooped up by Harmon. Collateral damage has got it in their own zone. Across the line from center. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Puck grabbed by Harmon. Grabs it in his own end. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Here's a chance to set up now. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. The one-timer stops him cold. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Quick pass to King. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Collateral damage is looking to break out of their own end. PTP's got it now deep inside his own end. Puck picked up by Harmon, and that's broken up with a stick in front. Slides it diagonally to Vaji Holahi. To his teammate. He scores! Sometimes it's just your night. He's got his second goal of the game. This is a good evening for him. Belleville stayed aggressive since puck drop rate. This is what you push for. Well, I always think that you stay on your front foot, that defending a lead, sitting back, is just the worst way to play. King's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Oh, had a chance to make a... And look at this, it's a parent all alone. Sends it over. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hand, great finish. A little short break, and it's in the net. Belleville's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Philadelphia's on the attack. Belleville's got a hold of it against the wall. Couldn't find the intended target. Philadelphia's got the puck in their own end. Tries to feed it over to Harmon. Belleville's got a hold of the puck. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Stays with it. Drives it to the crease. Collateral damage has gained possession along the boards. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Play
Brady along with Ray Ferraro down at ice level. My name is James Sabalski. Just moments away from puck drop. Ray Ferraro's down at ringside. What are you keeping an eye on here for tonight? Both teams want to get their defense up into the rough. Man, it must be way more fun being a defenseman these days than the stay at home of years past. Now your D have to be up and layer the attack. Both teams are lined up and we are set to get things going. The Elite have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Strong defensive effort. Keeps hold of the puck. Kings got it along the wing. Now a quick pass to Vaji Holahi. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Angles it over to Booz. Picks off the pass. To the low slot. Swing and a miss. Bagnell's got it in the defensive end. Through center along the wing. Here he is from the point. Hammers a shot. Answered the call on that play. And a burst of speed. They're going to wave off icing here, Ray. Really good effort to go all the way down to get to the puck. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Gains the zone from the right. Pokes it away in his own end. Right in the slot. Here's a short pass to Hagelin. Just wide. Yeah, he's going to have to adjust the sights on that one. That thing's off target by a long way. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Works it across to King. Sends it across. And he makes the easy save. Moves it quickly over to Hagelin. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Great positioning by the defender. Can't connect. The cherry pickers have it against the wall. Quick feed to Booze. Nice zone entry from the right side. He says, let's get physical on that play. It's a two-on-one. Shot being stopped by the goaltender right in front. Sharp reaction save. Tees it up. Can't get it to go. And he makes the save. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. And that one's broken up. On the one tower. Wow. Scores! What's she gonna do? The Elite have moved in front by one here. With still plenty of time to go in the first, Razor. Well, they've had the lion's share of shots here in this first period. They deserve this one goal lead. Through the neutral zone, it goes to the middle. Excellent stick work on the play. Picked up along the boards by Hagelin. And now he moves it quickly to Booze. Cutting to the slot. Knocks it away with the paddle. Great poke check. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The cherry pickers scoop it up along the boards. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Makes his presence known on the ice. And he slides it quickly to King. He's doing the best he can here. He just wants to get himself off the ice as quickly as he can. Looks like he's on the limp here a little bit. Moves it to King. Nice zone entry from the middle. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Well, that'll do it for an entertaining opening 20 minutes of hockey as the horn sounds. Belleville's pace of play, the difference here in the first 20 minutes, they lead a 1-0.
Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Belleville's been really good so far. They're playing defense. And all alone on the breakaway. And squandered opportunity there, Ray. Hard to believe. He's got a little jump. Here he is, all alone. Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Rick scores! The captain comes through! Belleville's got a two-goal lead, and the best word to describe it, in my mind, tenacity here tonight. You do the right thing more often than your opponent for a longer period of time, and you're going to get ahead. That's what's happened here. They're in complete control. The Elite have the puck in their own end. Couldn't make that one happen. Hangs onto the puck. The Cherry Pickers gain possession along the wall. Turn that it's one aside. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. Here he is with the backhander. Scores! The captain delivers! You don't get many of these odd man rushes, so you better take advantage of it. They moved the puck quickly and aggressively, and the goalie couldn't keep up to the shot. Belleville's on a roll now. It's 3-0 here in the second. They must feel like they're playing completely downhill. They're the quicker team, they're the better team, and they've got a nice, comfortable lead. From one point man to another. That goes wide. Here's an offensive chance. This one puts it off the outside of the frame. Belleville's lead is so solid, that one in all alone! And rings it off the post! Oh, that's a bad sound to hear. You make a good shot, you beat the goalie, and the puck's coming back. Goalies like that sound, though. That pass doesn't go. Nothing doing on that. Belleville's got the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Vaggie Holahi. King's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Slides the paddle in there and pokes it away. And that puck leaves the zone. And now it's grabbed by Hagelin. Oh, boy. Here comes a three-on-one. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Denied that one. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Vancouver's got the puck inside the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. It's a solid game. hit on that play. King's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Into the corner now. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Elite have gained control of the puck along the wall. He's got a step, and he can't. Oh. James, oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. And it's a quick pass to Vaggie Holahi. They've got the defense outnumbered. Whistle blows, and we've got a penalty shot. Tripped up on the breakaway. The ref makes the right call in signaling for a penalty shot. It's funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. You're kind of stuck. Score! Well done, finish nicely. Best advice I ever got on a penalty shot is don't go anywhere near the bench. Too many different opinions. Collect your thoughts and make your play. Taken by Hagelin. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Moves it quickly over to Vaji Holahi. Here they are on the attack. And he regains control of the puck. And that's picked off in front. There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they wanted it to end.
you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. Quick feed to Vaji Holahi. Here's the pass, and a great save. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Here he is in close, turns it away. This is a quality chance if the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Pass stolen in the open ice. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Smith. Here's a backhander. Denies them in close. Strong defensive effort. Puck scooped up by Hagelin. Can't get a hold of that pass. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Belleville's on total cruise control early in this third period. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. No icing here. I'm not so sure if that was a pass or a clearing attempt. But anyway, he got the... One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Here we go. Denies him on the breakaway. Really good speed to get out in front. Dust the pack. Now it's him and the goalie. But the goalie's better. He makes the stop. Can't keep a hold of it. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Quick pass over to Vaji Holahi. Handles the puck. King's sure been fun to watch tonight. He's got three points in the game already. And they send it right back to him. Levels him with the hit. The cherry pickers gain control of the puck against the wall. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Moves it to Booz. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Fails to find the open man. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Here's a chance, a 2 on 0 Big save. I know you like goals, Ferraro, but that was impressive. Yeah, great, good. Nice save, pal. <laughs> oh. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Puts it to the front of the net. Denies him with the save. Belleville's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Big play is trying to gain a step. Takes it into the slot. Huge stop by the puck stopper. Oh, yeah, it is, Chief. It's like he has an open book there. The goalie read every move that the player tried to make. Jabs the puck away. The elite have possession along the boards. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. And he'll go to center ice for the penalty shot. We've got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand. I guess it's a little bit of bad luck, James. I mean, he's reaching for the puck. He's in position to try and keep the play moving, but he trips him up. Yeah, you go to take the penalty shot, James. It's pretty lonely. You're standing out there in the middle of the ice. And you know everyone in the building is only looking at two players, you and the goalie. Belleville's put in one of the most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, up big time late in this third. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Belleville's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Belleville's got a hold of it along the wall. Hagelin stick handling in his own zone. It's a three on one. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. On the doorstep. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Here in the late goings of the period, Vancouver's been dominated to this point, trailing by three. Kings won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Nice pass. Moves into the slot. Goal oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. The elite have taken possession along the wall. Here he comes in on a breakaway. I don't know what to describe that as. I can tell you whatever he thought was going to happen, it wasn't that. They don't even get a shot. And that's the hat trick. Listen to this.
I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Here's a short pass. He scores! Well, that didn't take long. Now the coaches get uh, the chance after giving up the goal, they make the change. He puts the right guys on the ice because they go right back down the ice and score. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Vajra Hula, he's taking it from his own end. He was locked in there. Belleville's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Vancouver's got it, and they're on the attack. And just out of arm's reach on the play. Nice poke check. Too much congestion in front. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. They had the puck the whole time, James. It just goes to figure that they were going to win this game comfortably. Yeah, this the right team won this one tonight. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We are so excited to bring you all the action here on EA Sports tonight. Final thoughts before we get this one underway? Really an important game, really a game that the players are excited about. You can hear the chatter on the benches between the players. They want to get going. They're nervous to start. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening faceoff. The Elite have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. There's the whistle. Penalty shot.
Sports welcomes you back, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski, set to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. All right, we're just moments away here. Uh, where's your scout cam going tonight? I'm going to look and see who gets their star players involved in the game earliest, who's going to be able to carry the matchup, and which coach feels like he's playing chase most of the night. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Elite have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Moves the puck. The Elite have gained possession off the wall. Drills them. Yeah, they're going to try and set the tone of this game by using the body. There's a good solid hit early in the game. And the goalie comes out to play the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Vaji Holahi. And he coughs it up with the pass. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. He scores! Oh, what a finish! It sets the water bottle flying. A goal is a goal, but when the bottle pops, you go back to the bench feeling pretty good about yourself. He's popping bottles tonight! And with the two centers tangle up, the wingers skates away with it. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Spark shows good hands collecting the pass. He's already got the tiebreaker earlier on. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Oh, what a heads up play to poke it away. Here they come on the attack. Boston's got the puck in their own end. Now he takes it over the line. Chance in front! Scores! That's back-to-back, -back Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Boston's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Passes over to Vaji Holahi. Slides the puck across to King. Receives the pass. There's the whistle, and we've got a penalty shot being called here. Tripped up on the play while he's in the clear. The penalty absolutely crushed. And they had a couple of penalty shots, James. They're really nerve-wracking because you're the only guy on the ice. Everyone's looking to see if you can finish it off. Belleville's cut the lead to one. They're back at center ice and ready to get back into this thing. My favorite part about this is the coaches on both benches are going to be pulling their hair out. I like goals. <laughs> they don't. Love offense. Let's do it. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, a violent collision against the wall. No matter what you do, that's never going to feel good. King's got it in the offensive zone. And puts it right over the crossbar. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Belleville's looking to break out of their own end. And we've got a two-on-one. Great block on the play. Dismiss that chance. Past the halfway mark of this period, Belleville's trailing by one. The Dream Killers take possession off the faceoff. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Quick pass to Sparks. Boston's going to play it along the blue line. Moves close to the point. Keeps possession. It's only Solid body Five contact. Denies him on the play. Half of the goals in this league are scored from directly in front of the net. That doesn't happen with a save like this. Moves it around along the half wall. The Dream Killers gain possession along the wall. Into the attacking end. Can't find his man. Yeah. 
And we'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of play as the horn sounds. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. And he slides it quickly to Vaji Holahi. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Takes a shot. Just wide of his target. He doesn't miss it by much. And he often doesn't miss from there. Look like he had it from up here. Skates to the crease. Oh, some fans thought that was in, but that went off the side of the net. Grips it and rips it off a stick. The elite have the puck against the boards. They've got numbers. Slides it across. Takes the puck at the point. Belleville's moving it up the ice. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. The Dream Killers look to start the transition game. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Moves the puck along the half wall. Now a quick pass to Josh. The Dream Killers played along the wing. And that's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Vaji Holahi. Belleville's got it in the offensive zone. Smith's going to play it against the half wall. Jostled off the puck. The elite have it in their own zone. Here's an odd man rush. Good hit on the play. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Gains the zone through the middle. Getting a little physical. And look at this. It's a pair in all alone. this off well past the midway mark of this period the dream killers have recently taken a two goal lead they'd love to build on it he's got a little jump all alone what a chance and he misses quick feed to smith vajahula he's lugging the puck return pass Moves it to Vaji Holahi. Slides the puck over. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Rocks him on the play. Boston's got it in their own zone. The elite have the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Josh. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Down the right side and into the zone. Takes it to the front. Maintains possession. Trying to shake loose. He's in all alone. What a save on the play. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. Takes the pass. Both teams have gotten on the board, and this one has been pretty much a dogfight through the first 40 minutes as the period... Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. 
Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? Belleville's been chasing this game and chasing the puck much of the first two periods. If they're going to get back in it, they've got to possess the puck a lot more. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Boston's got a 3-1 lead. Kings one possession. Puck grabbed by Smith. And now he moves it quickly to King. Puck picked up by Josh. Tosses it on to Sparks. Takes control of the puck. Taken by Sparks. Along the half wall with the puck. Deflected away. Nice to... He scores! Two goals on the night for him. He's really been effective for checking a couple of breaks, and now he's got two. The Dream Killers could almost put this one in neutral here for the rest of this third period. And they've dominated much of this game, and the score is clearly reflective of that. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Smart defensive play to tap it away. Pokes it away in his own end. We got a penalty coming up here on the...
NHL. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Zabalski, and we are privileged to be able to call it. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. And there's the puck drop. Enough talk. It's time to find out what this is all about. Oh, what a stop. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Picked up along the wall by Smith. Sends the pass over. Vajahula, he's got the puck. Strong feed from along the boards. Toronto's got it along the wall. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Puck scooped up by Smith. Slides it on over to Sackick. Takes the feed. Slides the puck down low. Pass it up ahead. Here's a chance. Makes the save. Slides it quickly to Strombolopoulos. In all alone on the breakaway. He scores! What a you get a chance like this, they don't come very often. You better put it away, and he does beautifully. Too sweet. Nova Scotia has won the draw. Sends a pass over. Squirts Hockey's got a hold of it against the wall. Toronto's got it across the line. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Here's a short pass to Smith. Takes the feed. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. Great positioning in the defensive end. Wow. They scores! They tie it up! They stayed with it the entire time, Ray! I'm tired of listening to coaches talk about, oh, we followed the process. But the process is you don't get frustrated, you keep chipping away, and you hope to get to this point. Scoops up the puck here. Nice pass. Here they come. Three of them. Comes up with the stop. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. And he loses control of the puck. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. And now he angles it across to Francis. Drives to the paint! Squirts Hockey's got control of it now from their own end. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Here in the later stages of this period, we got a tie game. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Pushes it across to Sackick. And he can't hang on after that hit. Francis scoops it up here inside the defensive zone. Tries to get it over to Strombolopoulos. He carries the puck up along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Strombolopoulos. Feeds it down low. And that's just out of reach. Passes on over to Sackick. Whiffs on that. A most entertaining start to this one. 20 minutes in the books, and both teams getting on the board. Official has made his way back to center rice, and we are ready to go for period number two. 
second period now underway. We'll see how much longer this thing stays tied. Ray, we've already got 20 minutes under our belt here. What are your thoughts of this one so far? Squirts Hockey's got to get on their horse a little bit here, James. They really haven't generated much in the way of shots on goal yet. They've got the defense outnumbered. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. They go on the attack through center. Parati's got a hold of it along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Manages to hang on. Puck exits the zone. Regains possession at center. Squirts Hockey's got the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Smith. Handles the puck. Receives the pass. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Stays with it. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Sends it over. Scores! That one through there. That's a big goal when they put him into the lead. Toronto's given themselves control of this game now with a one-goal lead in the second. They'd like to get another before they go in for the second intermission. You'd love at least a couple goal lead going into period three. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Smith's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes the return feed. And they'll dump it in. Nova Scotia's got the puck along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Drills them. Toronto's got the puck. Look out, a two-on-one. Quick shot. Scores! Raise the magic number. And that goalie is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. Squirts Hockey's offense delivers yet again. They now have a two-goal lead. They have dominated in this. They really have, and the key for them is not to look at the clock, but to keep playing the same way. They've done a really nice job dominating the majority of possession. Here's a Howard for the net. He scores! I captain! Nova Scotia's back to center ice, and now it is just a deficit of one. What a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game, what makes you think is possible. They only need one more to even this up. Toronto's looking to break out. Moves it quickly over to Smith. From the right side, they gain the zone. That's moved up ahead. Sackett's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Here's a chance. To his teammate. He scores! The captain leading by example. Nova Scotia's given themselves some positive vibes to go into the dressing room into after this period as they have even things up here late. To go into the third period even would be a victory here for them. Parati's moving it into the offensive oh, man. end. Nova Scotia's got the puck along the wall. Takes the pass. And the puck leaves the zone. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Tipped in front. That's it. He scores! And the bench jumped right up. Both teams go. The longer you stay locked in a tie, luck starts to play a bigger part of the victory. Nova Scotia's taking the lead. Ray, do you like their game tonight? I do. I like lots of it. I mean, there's been times where they've lost their way a little bit, but now late, late in the second period, they've got the lead. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Quick feed to Francis. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. 
He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski. Let's do this. There's been no shortage of firepower after the first 40 minutes, and we are underway here in the third. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Nova Scotia's ahead in this high chance, high danger game. No use changing the way you're going to play now. Lots of time left in this period. Nova Scotia has been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Handles the puck at the point. Quick feed down low. Squares Hockey's got the puck against the wall. Smith's looking around near the point. Steps into it. Oh, comes up with a stop. Big save by the goaltender once again. They're swarming here. Puts it in for the hat trick. You gotta finish him off. The chances are there, but you still gotta put him away. It's a great play, and now we can celebrate his three-goal night. Now, would you ever wear one of those chapeaus? Not a chance. Would you wear someone else's hat? Absolutely not. Toronto's gained possession. Keeps hold of the puck. Nova Scotia's playing it through the neutral zone. Rocked him in the open ice. From the point, looks to make something happen. A chance! He scores! That's three on the goal. I can't imagine too many hats being tossed though here. No, there's not going to be. I mean... This is a terrific game for him. He's got three, and you're right, on the road, nobody's throwing their bucket. Moves the puck. Sackett's in that mode now. You got three, look for more. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Oh, what a stop! From the back of the cage with the puck. Moves it to Sackett, and they fail to go tape to tape. Sends it over to Francis. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Vaggie Holahi. Taken along the wall by Smith. Handles it again. Slides the puck over. Smith's got it against the boards. Steps into it. He scores! He can't miss tonight! Unbelievable to get this many chances, but to be able to put them all away. Toronto's goal has set up a thrilling finish here in this third period. Really good work to get the game back to level. Now they have to continue to push, find the winner. Good defensive effort to poke it away. It's a two-on-one. Sends it across, and that's picked off. Vajahula, he's got it on the offensive end. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. Here's a pass down low. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Gains the zone through center. Jerminski's got it along the wing. Strobilopoulos plays it against the boards. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, and blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. Toronto's on the attack. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. In the final moments of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Sackick's won it. Nova Scotia's got it in the neutral zone. Strobilopoulos plays the puck. Squirts Hockey's got a hold of it against the wall. Gains the zone. Under a minute to play in this dandy. Feeds it over to Vaggie Holahi. Feeds the puck up to Francis. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender! And that fizzles out. Puts it into the back of the net for the goal! It breaks this tie, game. You know when these teams get locked up tight, sometimes it stays that way a long time. Nova Scotia's finally gone ahead here in this third period. Do you protect it now? No, not for me. I think you attack more. Just think if you can get another one. Then you can really be conservative and protect the lead. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. No, he, he scores! He thought he had The centermen glide into position.
sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Parades on the attack. Quick pass to Francis. Cuts to the paint. Couldn't find the intended target. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Squares Hockey's got possession at center. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. One on one with the goaltender. Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Really good work by the defender to close the gap. There's the horn to signal the end of the third period. We are still tied. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski here in the broadcast booth. They are ready to drop the puck on OT. Overtime action is underway. Absolutely love it. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. That opportunity is rejected. Nova Scotia's got it near the point. Francis will play it along the line. Answers it with an even better save. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Smith's got it in the defensive end. Great pass from off the right side. Smith's been a leader of this team offensively, and tonight he's really at the front of the line. Three points already. Tries to the crease. That pass goes a little sideways. For the win! And that falls apart. I can tell you one play that won't be on his highlight reel. <laughs> Not that one. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. And now it's over to Strombolopoulos. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Sackix won the draw deep in the defensive zone. One-time blast. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. An all-out sprint, and icing is waved off. Yeah, the officials looking at both players to see who can get to the top of the circle first where they blow the icing at the hash mark. That was a great effort. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Toronto's got it, and they're on the attack. Here's an offensive chance. Move to the middle, looking to end it. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. A critical draw here. Sakix won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Looking to set up offensively. Strumpelopoulos looks around. Hammers the one-timer, and that's blocked. Smith's got the puck in his own zone. Right up the gut, here they go. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Steps across the blue line. Knocked off the puck. Nova Scotia's got a hold of it along the wall, and couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Moves it quickly over to Vaji Holahi. Takes the feed. Sakic's been a magnet for the puck tonight. Everywhere he goes, it comes to him. And he's got four goals to show for it. Strobilopoulos has it at center ice. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Squirts Hockey's across the blue line. Grabs control of it at the point. And now he moves it to Sakic. <laughs> This is a great finish to a 
outstanding hockey game.
Ray Ferraro, who's down at ice level. My name is James Sabalski from way up here high, set to bring you all the action. Dupuis is one of those guys who's an attraction selling tickets for this one, Ray. Dangerous offensive player. He can skate and shoot the puck. Any team would be lucky to have him. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. Puck is dropped. Let's do this hockey. Sends the pass over. He scores! That's how you do it! Leadership to a T. The captain capitalizes. Toronto's quickly quieting this home barn here with an early goal. I'm still taking a drink of my coffee. It's in the net already. one nothing on the first shift. With possession along the wall. Quick shot comes up with a stop. Quick pass across to Fleury. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Look at that hustle there as they wave it off. You betcha, James. That's a good call. He keeps that play alive with effort only. Look out. Here's a 2 on 0 Big time stop on the break. Goalie came out, matched the shooter's speed, and shut down the chance. And now it's grabbed by Sackick. It's a 2 on 0 Here's the pass. Oh, what a stop on the breakaway. Good speed to break ahead of the pack. He thinks he's got the goalie beat, but shut down. That's a great stop. Quick feed to Wierenski. Broken up at center. Picked up along the boards by Smith. Quick feed to Sackett. Denies him on the one-timer. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Fleury. And that pass goes awry. Fleury's got control of the puck in the corner. And loses possession after a solid hit. Turn that chance aside. Uh, we used to laugh about this and say, oh, the goalie's got to answer the phone because his ears are going to be ringing. But I'm sure the trainer's going to check on him here as this hits him right in the face. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Toronto still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Squirts Hockey's got it in the offensive zone. Hangs onto the puck. And that slides right out to center ice. Centering pass! Wow. Scores! The captain delivers! That's a pretty big blunder in the defensive zone. It cost them a goal there. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We are all tied up in this one. New Orleans wins the draw in the neutral zone. And it's a quick pass to Fleury. Can't connect. Slides it over with pace to Sackick. He's got a step. Oh, what a stop. Goaltender comes up big in good position to make the save. Slides it diagonally to Sigamanis. Couldn't make that one happen. Nice pass back. Moves the puck across to Smith. And he slides it quickly to Sackick. Unable to reach that one. Rips Whoa. it. They score! Yeah. Yeah. How many times we've traveled around? You always talk about it's better to play in front. Well, you break the deadlock here, James. Now you get out in front. You can dictate the pace of the game. Wow, what a blunder. He might not see the ice again after the coach talks to him when he gets back to the bench. Too much time for the shooter to pick the top of the net. He doesn't miss. Sports hockey's gone in front here in the opening frame. Seemed like this game was going to be deadlocked for a long period of time. That's a little bit of a quick strike. So we'll see what they do with it. New Orleans plays the puck along Ooh. the boards. Scores! And they get it back! Now back to the square. You want them to be as aggressive as possible. You've got the other team reeling a little bit. Shooter's able to corral that saucer pass, and then he beats the goaltender.
heading into the later stages of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. New Orleans is quick on the draw. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Set the tone, got it behind the net. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Sackick's got it in the offensive zone. New Orleans takes possession of the puck. Whoa. Now you got the lead, don't sit back. Get right back to the face-off and try and attack again. Toronto's effort pays off, they've taken the one-goal lead. Deserved one goal lead too, James. I think they played quite well, but now you got a little bit of an opening. Try and stretch the lead. He got all of that hit. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Toronto's stick position is exemplary tonight. Teams can look at this on video and say, that's how you defend. There it is! There's the hat trick! That puck barely hit the back of the net, Jake. And his teammates are already up on their feet. Everybody enjoys watching a player get three. Bang, bang, two goals and right around a minute 40. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Nice job tying up his opponent. Sends a pass over. Here he is in front. He scores! How's that to close things out? Well, what a great time for a goal. I mean, you're happy when you score any time, but so late in the period now, you can carry momentum over the intermission. Toronto's offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. Well, there's the end of the first period of play. A blowout on the ice. But I'll tell you what, from this broadcast booth vantage point, I'm still having fun. I know Ferraro's still having a good time down at ice level as well. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Period number two underway here. It's been an absolute mismatch through the first 20 minutes. One whistle blows, and we've got a penalty shot. Pretty easy call, I think. James, he's out clear, and he gets tripped up. catch up to the pass and the officials waving off icing here takes it to the net moves it to Wierenski and that shot dies in traffic and icing waved off on this one really good hustle to get up the ice and beat the defender to the puck New Orleans will play it from behind the net oh that's a good hit Sigamanis has the puck inside the defensive zone. No one home on that play. Back at the point, they set it up. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Strong defensive effort. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Moves it around along the half wall. And that one's turned away. Flurry's picking up steam. And a great heads-up defensive play here. And he regains control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Smith. And he might have a step here. Cutting to the front of the net. He scores! Oh, on a breakaway, James. You're out front. And if you've got confidence, you've got to sell your move and finish it off. New Orleans gets back to center ice here. They've got something to build on here in the second now, Ray. It's been a long night for them so far. Not much has gone right. They do have a little glimmer of hope now. Toronto's gonna play it along the blue line. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And now he tries to get it across to Fleury. Couldn't complete the play. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. 
It's a three on one. Big play inside the defensive zone. And he denied that opportunity and manages to clear the zone. Grabs the puck. Picking up some steam at center ice. Puck grabbed by Wierenski. New Orleans steps inside. Great hit on the play. Delayed penalty looming. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Puck picked up by Sackick. And here's a chance with a penalty shot on the way. The hockey equivalent of the showdown at high noon is set to go. You can win on the penalty shot. You've got to be decisive. You're looking at the goalie trying to read him, but you have to have a really good idea what you want to accomplish. Toronto's been in simple attack mode all night long. Would you not agree? Yes, and the opponent has no answer. It's like they can't get up to speed to take any of the pace away.
He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Welcome to our EA Sports Showdown here tonight. As we send it down ringside to Ray Ferraro, you look at these two teams and the way they operate in special teams, this could be a key area tonight. Yeah, both teams were talking this morning about the need to stay out of the penalty box. Don't give the opportunity for the other team's power play to get rolling. Opening face-off just moments away. Put the chatter aside. The puck is dropped. Here we go. Directed over to Cheek. Nothing doing on that. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed. Here they are on the attack. Nice pass. Dantzouk's taking it from his own end. To the front! Stopped by the goaltender. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Dantzouk's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. Intercepts the pass! Taken by Smith. Handles the puck. Back to the blue line. Referee Shilovec, there's the whistle, and we've got a penalty shot being called here. He broke free, and looks like he's in all alone until he gets tripped up. This is the right call. Buries it for the goal! This is no longer tied. Nice patience, good shot on the board. Toronto's got the game's first goal here, Razor. Well, you got the one goal lead now, but you want to extend it as quickly as you can. Sackick's one possession. Puck scooped up by Smith. Breakaway! Shuts him down on the breakaway! Really good save as the shooter thought he had an opening, but it's turned aside. Slides the puck to Sackick. Quick pass to Smith. Receives the pass. Couldn't connect on that pass. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. The shell tips will play it from the defensive zone. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. Now a quick pass to Sackick. Takes the pass. Wide of the net. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Gives it right back. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Smith's going to play it against the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Vaji Holahi. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. From the boards, he takes that pass. Whoa! Scores! The captain comes through! Man, the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. Doubled their lead here in the first. By staying on the play, James has been the key for them. They've been aggressive, they forechecked, and when they get a chance, they haven't missed. Detroit's got it into the offensive zone. Moves the puck. Quick feed to Datsu. Moves it to Smith. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Here he is in front! Can't connect! And now it's grabbed by Sackick. Shot! And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Coughs it up on the play. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Picking up ahead of steam on the breakaway! Oh, Ray, what a play! The defender comes right back and swipes this play away before it's a real dangerous chance. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. All alone! Great defensive play. One thing to get back and break it up. Another not to take a penalty on the play.
And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. Toronto's won it. Puck grab by Smith. Moves it to Sackick. Here's a short pass to Vaji Holahi. Along the half wall with the puck. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. Dadsuk's got it along the boards. Vajahula, he's got it in the defensive zone. Slides the puck over. Here they come on the attack. Takes the feed. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Driving right to the front. Made that stop. Slides the pass over to Cheek. A little back and forth. Not able to connect. Squirts Hockey's got the puck in their own end. Here they come. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Toronto's got the puck against the half wall. On the attack along the boards. Maintains possession. Smith's going to play it near the point. Sends the pass over. Takes the feed. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Quick pass to John LOL. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Lays into the body on the play. Just wide to the net. Looks to start the transition game behind the net. The shell tips taken across the blue line. Moves it quickly over to John LOL. Cheeks got the puck. Oh, and he missed the opportunity there. Toronto's got it from the back of their own cage. Smith stick handling in his own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Sackick and tries to make a diagonal pass to Vaji Holahi. Takes the feed at the point. Moves inside. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Toronto's got it along the wall. Here's a chance right in the slot. And they come up empty-handed. Picked up along the wall by Smith. And he slides it quickly to Sackick. Moves the puck along the half wall. The shell tips look to start the transition game. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Sackick's got it along the wing. Sends it down low. Good hit on the play. And they can't connect. Puck picked up by Smith. Rocks him. Taken by Sackick. Stopped by the goaltender. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Detroit's been chasing this game and chasing the puck much of the first two periods. If they're going to get back in it, they've got to possess the puck a lot more. Passes right to the front. Vajahula, he's got it to the side. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Slides the puck across to Cheek. And puts it off the crossbar. Had the goalie beat up high, but not the bar. Detroit's starting to generate some better chances. Here, this shot hits the goalpost. But, James, it doesn't bounce for them. They still trail in the game. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Squirts Hockey's got the puck along the wall. Nice save from point-blank range. Scooped up along the wall by Smith. 
And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Sends a pass over. They've got the defense outnumbered. Big time hit against the boards. Tell me this, what would you rather take, against the wall or against the open ice? Oh, no, I want it up against the wall, but you got to get close. Whistle blows, and we've got a penalty shot. He was in the clear. The shooter's got to be able to get his chance on the net cleanly. When he gets grabbed onto, it's at least a huge stop right there. Shuts it down. Take that stuff away from here. The shooter's looking for a hole. There is none there. The goalie was all over it. Sackix won the draw here in the offensive zone. Smith's lugging the puck. And it's a quick pass to Sackick. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. The shell tips carried along the wall. Oh, he'll feel that one. Flailing at it with his stick to try to get control. And we've got a two-on-one. A chance! Stick save from the goaltender. Smothered that in close chance. Toronto's got possession here in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Smith. Pass right back. Tries to get the puck to Vaji Holahi. Good hit. Datsuk's got it now deep inside his own end. Looks to pass it to John LOL. Gets it back. Let's the wrister go. Club save, and he made it look simple. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Makes the save with the trapper. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Carries it in. Moves it to John LOL. That pass doesn't go. And now he angles it across to Smith and sends it just out of reach. Grabbed along the board by Smith. Gains the zone through the middle. Slides it across. He scores! That's yeah, just to have it taken their foot off the gas pedal at all here. Once they got that first one, they kept pushing away. Now they've got three. Toronto's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been nonstop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. Less than 60 seconds to play in this blowout. Jostles the puck loose. Denies him! I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Toronto's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. From the point, they take control of it. Big save! But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Through center along the wing. Looks to set up at the point Whoa. now. Toronto's got the puck. Sends it quickly. He's got a step. Big time stop. Nose to nose. The goalie comes out better on this chance. Can't get a hold of that pass. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. Smart heads up. Play to neutralize the threat. To his teammate. Jabs the puck away. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. And there it is. This one's all over. Boy, confidence between the pipes tonight with that shutout, as you said. It looked easy. Yeah. Even the most difficult shots for him, he handled with such confidence.
This should be an exciting affair, and along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski, set to bring you all the commentary here on EA Sports. Just moments away from puck drop, we'll send it down to ringside Ray Ferraro. Between the pipes could be a critical area tonight, Razor. You've got to get into the other goalie's face. Both teams have talked about it. You've got to get in for second shots. Really, it comes down to will. How can you force the other team's goalie? Puck is dropped to that hockey. And he slides it quickly to Vaji Holahi. And that's just out of reach. Here's a short pass to Rantanen. Skates to the crease. Gets a paddle on him to make the save. Quick pass to Vaji Holahi. And now it's over to Sakic. Handles the pass from the right wing. Nice pass. Scores! The home team's on the board. And that is a textbook start for a home team. Get the early first goal. Make the road guys start to chase you. We're still in the early stages of this period. Toronto's ahead 1-0. Here he is in the open ice. On the breakaway. He scores! seconds apart wow insane how quick that was bang bang yeah the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground they couldn't stop them he's won the draw down the right side and into the zone nice poke check handles the puck hammers a shot what a save he'll probably feel that one tomorrow manages to hang on smith's moving the puck through his own zone Directs it on over to Vaji Holahi. Slides the puck across to Sakic. Oh, he exploded on him in the open ice. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Great timing to come up with the interception. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. In all alone. And that just falls apart. No way to recover from that. That's a good-looking play that leads to nothing. Put it off the post. Here's a race for the loose puck. Can't hang on after that hit. Receives the pass. Break away. Out front, and he comes up with a big stop. I can't do it better than that, James. That's a great stop. Puck scooped up by Rantanen. Tries to feed it over to Heed. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. More than half the frame has been played here. Toronto's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Takes the return feed. Quick feed down low. He got all of that hit on the play. There's the collision. Moves it quickly over to Smith. And now it's grabbed by Sackick and tries to make a diagonal pass to Vaji Holahi. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Stays with it. He's off! And that goes off a player in front. Ying Yang's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Smith. Couldn't make that one happen. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. Here in the late goings of the period, Squares Hockey's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Win the draw after the icing. You possess the puck while they're running around a little bit tired. And now he moves it to Rantanen. Denies him in front. Handles the pass from his goalie. And look at that sip down the ice to wave off icing. You've got to get past the hash marks to get it waved off. He does a good job. There's the whistle, icing the call. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Smart defensive play there.
opening face-off for period number two, about set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Taken along the wall by Sackick. It's a two-on-one. A chance in front. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. Squirts Hockey's back at center. What a performance to this point. They've moved the puck so well that they've had the puck the whole night. Their opponents are chasing it around like a carrot on a stick. From the point, looks to make something happen. Throws it in. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Ying Yang's grabbed a hold of the puck. And they can't convert to the play. He got all of that one. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. And they fail to go tape to tape. Great defensive effort with the stick. Good heads up play to knock it away. Squirts Hockey's got a hold of it against the wall. Chopping away at it. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Toronto's really put the squeeze on here now up by three. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Slides it to Sackick. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Moves the puck. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. Moves it to Vaggie Holahi. With authority. Oh, what a good opportunity right there. You don't get many chances. You want to finish them off, so he'll be a little frustrated as he heads back up ice. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it across. Made the save on the play. Linesmen wave off the icing. They'll keep playing. That was a brutal play, but he kept the puck alive by hustling down in front of the defense. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Smith's got it in the defensive end. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Sackick. Here's the pass. Rocked on the play. James, he is going to feel terrible tomorrow. He's
Welcome back, everyone. Ray Ferraro down at ice level. My name is James Sabalski. The EA Sports broadcast team is fired up to bring you this one here tonight. The crowd is hopping for this one. We'll send it down to ice level. Ray Ferraro between the benches. What are you seeing for tonight, Ray? Well, I'm looking at a team, each team that's going to try and impose their will on the game. Play a fast game, play a physical game, try and take your game onto their doorstep. Really looking forward to this one tonight. The Snakes take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Tosses it to Kucherov, and they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Heatley's got it across the line. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection and forces a huge turnover here with the steal. There he is. He's got a step, and it's broken up. Oh, he's not going to want to see that on the video. The defender just raced up and closed the gap to push the puck away. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Laredo's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Slides the puck over. Toronto's on the attack. Takes the feed. One-timer! Scores! What's it gonna do? Toronto's got the game's first goal as they lead here. one nothing early in the first. Always awesome to be in front of the game. You push the pace. You make the other team uncomfortable when you're out front. Laredo's got the puck against the boards. Centered out in front. And that one's broken up. Smith's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Vaji Holahi. Slides the puck down low. Sackick's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Quick pass to Heatley, and they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Uses the force on that hit. Great stick work with the steal. Toronto's in another close game. One of the reasons is positionally they're in the right place at the right time to intercept pucks. Picked up along the boards by Smith. Laredo's got a hold of it along the wall. And he's ridden off the puck. And that's picked off. Fails to find the open man. Here he comes in on a breakaway. Denies him with a big time save. He thought he had him beat, but the goalie gets over to make a great stop. Sends the pass over. Delayed penalty coming up here. Puck grabbed by Sackick. Pokes it away in his own end. The official signals penalty shot. Here we go. Smith's at center and ready to go. Off the post it goes. He was that close. He had him beat. Perfect example of how two people can see the same thing differently. Goalie says, I had it played perfectly. Shooter says, bad luck. Past the midway mark in this period. Toronto's up one zip. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Just a simple save by Wagner. Here in the late goings of the period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Squirts Hockey's won the draw. He grabs the puck here at the point. Laredo's got control of it now from their own end. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Shuts them down. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Race for the puck here. Icing waved off on the play. Moves it quickly over to Vaji Holahi. Can't find his man. First period nearly in the books here. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Takes the pass from the boards. Five seconds to go. Played big in the moment there. Shot on net. And he hangs on just as time runs out.
A chance for both teams to refuel. They're back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Squirts hockey's been really good so far. They're playing defense. <laughs> when you get one, you start to get greedy. You want another one. You know it could be your night. Now he's got two. If that's me, first thought is I could get three. I know I can. Deep for the next one. Toronto's widened that gap here to a 2 nothing lead in this middle frame. I heard from their bench about time. They felt like they were going to break through, and they have. Takes the feed. With possession along the wall. Fires it. What a stop. Laredo's got the puck in the defensive end. Look out, a two-on-one. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And he's able to handle that one. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Toronto's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Squirts Hockey's got the puck along the boards. Angles it over to Vaji Holahi. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, just a textbook hit. Kucherov's carrying it ahead. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Squirts Hockey's looking to break out. Sends a pass over. Takes it to the front. Moves the puck down low. The Snakes have it from their own end. Sackick's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Pass back to the point. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. All alone! And that's the hat trick! Listen to this place! And here come the hats. I love this tradition. I know I will tell you. They collect the hats up. They used to give them to us. And you're like, what am I going to do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. <laughs> Toronto's widened the gap yet again tonight, Ray. How far can you widen the gap? Because they keep adding on to it. It seems like shift by shift. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Quick feed to Sackick. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Toronto's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Sackick's won it. Puck picked up by Smith. Sackick's got it in the offensive zone. Nice pass. Here's a blast. Steps in with the block. Pushes it across to Vaji Holahi. They've got numbers. Laredo's got it in their own zone. Works it across to Heatley. Answered the call there. A defenseman loves this. The puck doesn't stay in front of the net. It's now in the corner. He doesn't have to worry about fight. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle, and we got a penalty shot coming up. He's going to look up at the big board and see. Wrong spot. Tripped up the player. Makes the stop under pressure. Nowhere to go. The puck's got no lane into the net. The goalie does an outstanding job. Toronto's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Sackick's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Now a quick pass to Smith. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Moves it to Sackick. Here's a chance to set up now. Good check, frees the puck up. He's got a little jump. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. And he's signaling penalty shot here on the play. Tripped up on the breakaway. The ref makes the right call in signaling for a penalty shot. Fishing around for the puck. He gets his stick into the player's feet. And this becomes an easy call. And he scores on the penalty shot. Lots of pressure on the shooter. He 
makes an excellent play and beats the goaltender. Laredo's answered back here in the late stages of the second. They have to hope this goal signifies the point in the game where it turns. They haven't been very good up until this point. Squirts Hockey's got a hold of the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Vaji Holahi. Quick stop! And with just seconds to spare, they get a goal here to close things out. They gotta look at it from both ways. That's a real kick in the pants for the team that gave up the goal. But what a boost of energy for them to score this late in the period. And the period has come to an end and what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. James Samolski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you all the action. Period number three is set to get underway. 20 minutes to go here in regulation of what has been a very one-sided affair. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Laredo's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's going to change, they've got to get the puck and hold on to it much more. Smith's taking it from his own end. Handles the puck. Here's a short pass to Vaji Holahi. An all-out sprint and icing is waved off. Yeah, the officials looking at both players to see who can get to the top of the circle first where they blow the icing at the hash marks. That was a great effort. Receives the pass. Booming shot. Comes up with a big-time glove save. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Makes a move in front. Fantastic save. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Strong defensive effort. Rocked on the play. Quick pass to Heatley. Excellent stick work on the play. Dumps it in. And he comes up with it. Whacks away at the loose puck. Throws it on goal. There it is. He scores. Oh! Toronto's on fire tonight, and they show no signs of slowing down in the third. This has been almost a perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. Sackick's one possession. Moves it around along the half wall. Sackick's got it against the boards. The Snakes will play it in their own end. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Moves it quickly over. He's got a step. Scores! He had to be ready for this puck to end up on his stick. He doesn't take any time at all. The goalie's not set. It's in the net. Laredo's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals and you need lots of them. Attack. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Quick feed to Smith. Takes the pass. Can't connect. Passes over to Kucherov. It's a three-on-one. Nothing doing on that. Takes the puck at the point. Solid check to slow him down. Picked up along the wall by Kucherov. Pass right on the doorstep. That's a solid hit. Kucherov's got it into offensive territory. We got a penalty coming. Penalty shot on the way. Kucherov's ready to go one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Scores! A three! I have nine of these games. It is such a cool thing to score three. You feel so good about yourself. The Snakes have got one back here now in the third. They're really going to have to push. You're going to run out of time here in the last period. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Sends it over. Scores! Man, you said that a lot with this guy. It's like every time he gets on the ice, the puck ends up in the back of the net. What a night. Toronto's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time. A big time late in this third. Moves it over to Vachy Holahi. Right away. Scores! Deceptive move here, short on the breakaway, he makes no mistake. 
They're still going to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. The Snakes win the draw here in the neutral zone. Picks up the puck in his own end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Quick pass across to Smith. Moves the puck. Move to the middle. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. And the puck skips out of play. Someone gets a souvenir and we'll get a face off. Toronto's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances and they lead it late in this third period. Taken by Smith and the puck departs the zone. The Snakes gain possession along the wall. And he totally whiffs on that one. His reflexes on display tonight. Right across, and that one's broken up. And he slides it quickly to Sackick. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Scooped up along the wall by Smith. Toronto's got it in their own zone. All alone! Oh, what a hustle, Ray! The defender looked like he was shot out of a cannon. He made up the extra ground to clear the puck away. Pass to Kucherov. From the left side, takes it at center. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books. I really like the way that they got after the puck and generated a high number of shots. Not all of them quality, but in a close game, you start peppering the other goalie, you're probably going to be okay. I get it was a tight game, but you look at the opportunities that they had, they had way better scoring opportunities. They did, and eventually the puck's got to go in most nights.
Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Welcome back, everyone, and buckle up while you're at it because this should be a doozy here this evening. As we send it down, ringside to Ray Ferraro. Ray, penalty killing, always a key going into something like this. It is. The, we talked to the visiting coach today. He, in particular, stressed the need to stay out of the box. He wants his team to be aggressive but they want to play with some discipline. It's been a little bit of a problem for them lately. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. And there's the puck drop. Enough talk. It's time to find out what this is all about. Toronto's got it now. Moves it to Sackick. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And manages to clear the zone. Toronto's got the puck. Here's a short pass to Edwards. No one home on that play. They've got numbers. Here's a chance. Misses a golden opportunity there with the stop. Most dangerous place on the ice, and he can't capitalize. Good use of the body on the play. Quick pass over to Sackick. Slides it across. Stopped by the goaltender. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Moves into the slot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Smith stick handling in his own zone. And now he angles it across to Vaji Holahi. Couldn't find the intended target. Slides the puck over. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Still lots of time left in the period. Still no score in this one. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Grabbed along the board by Smith. Here's a chance. To his teammate. Big play inside the defensive zone. He's got a little jump. All alone. Decides to think about it. Laying the body. Trying to shake the defender. Flips it across. Oh. I can't believe this game's going to end 1-0, so that first goal gives you a head start into what I hope is a pretty offensive game. Takes the feed. Smith's going to play it against the half wall. Sends the pass down low. Couldn't connect on that pass. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Slides the puck down low. Feeds it up ahead. He's doing the best he can here. He just wants to get himself off the ice as quickly as he can. Looks like he's on the limp here a little bit. Pokes the puck away. Here's a chance of 2 on 0 Scores! Yeah, nice hands. Great finish. Little short break, but it's in the net. Here in the later stages of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Edwards wins it in the neutral zone. Grabs it in his own end. From the left side, they gain the zone. Here's the pass. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Hammers one. What a stop as he puts out the fire. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. the draw and he ties up his opponent icing is called stopping the play dead and as the puck is dropped they win the draw here inside the defensive zone official blows the whistle you know what that means it's a penalty shot Trying to get to the puck, he reaches his stick right into the guy's feet, and down he goes. Sackick's ready to go one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Scores! How big is that? This is different than a breakaway, even though it looks like the same thing. Nobody chasing you, everybody in the building staring at what the penalty shot will look like. Toronto's won the draw. Puck scooped up by Smith. 
Unable to reach that one. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, and that backfires. Yeah, he tried to bounce pass to himself. Didn't work. Referee stops the play. We've got a penalty shot on the way. Sackett's got the puck, and here he comes. I only had a couple of penalty shots, James. They're really nerve-wracking because you're the only guy on the ice. Everyone's looking to see if you can finish it off. Sackett's won the draw. Can't connect. It's official, period number one is in the books. And as both teams head to their respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. Along with Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. Sakix won the draw here in the neutral zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Sakix scores! And that's the hat trick! To get it done on the road is a really special accomplishment. You're dealing with checkers, you're dealing with the line matchup, and it doesn't matter where you are, three is a great night. I think the goalie actually read this play quite well. He looks like he's in position. He's trying to keep up to the pass. But because that pass was perfect, the one-timer beats him clean. Toronto's quickly filling up the highlight reel shows for later this evening, Ray. They are, even though it's in the second period still. They have scored almost at will tonight. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. Puts it on net. Gives them nothing in front. Sends the pass over. Sakix lugging the puck. Quick pass to Smith. Dishes it to Vaji Holahi. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Jabs the puck away. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Taken along the wall by Smith. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. From point blank, how did he stop that one? The ice have possession along the boards. And the officials waving off icing here. Edwards looks around. That's a solid check on the play. Denies him, he got all of it. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Smith. Couldn't complete the play. Quick feed to Vaji Holahi. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. And we've got a two on one. Nice poke check. Here's an offensive chance. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Winnipeg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Edwards takes it inside his own end. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. More than half the period has expired. Sports hockey's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Winnipeg's ready to go on the attack. With the one-timer! Oh! He's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. Winnipeg's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puck dumped in.
where it's hockey's gained possession along the boards. There's the whistle icing the call. Edwards is elected captain for a moment like this. Your team is way down. Can you be the motivating factor to get your team back in the game? The Thieves take possession off the faceoff. That was an important faceoff, James. Now they got an offensive zone possession. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. It's a two-on-one. Snaps one on net, misses high. Not a bad shot. He just tried to make it too perfect and shoots it over the crossbar. Centering pass in front, turns it away. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Sackick. And it's a quick pass to Smith. That pass doesn't go. Seven seconds left. He says, let's get... He's got a step! He scores! What a finish! You get a chance like this, they don't come very often. You better put it away, and he does beautifully. Two sweeps. Quickly out of the zone on the odd man rush.
I'm James Sabalski along with Ray Ferraro here on the EA Sports Broadcast crew ready to bring you a fun one tonight. I'll turn it down to ice level with my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro. What are you keeping tabs on tonight? Well, both teams like to get their D up into the rush. And when you get a D into the offense, you try to create another layer of danger. But you have to realize you're going to expose yourself to a goal against two. Opening faceoff is set to go. Referee Gilles Levesque is ready to drop the puck. Put the chatter aside. The puck is dropped. Here we go. From off the boards, takes the feed inside the zone. Handles it along the blue line. And that one stopped. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Toronto's got it in the offensive zone. Right out in front. Big time stop. Sackick's going to play it to the corner. And it comes up with the save. Across the line from center. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And now it's over to Cherry. Takes a shot. Stones him with the blocker. Denies oh it again. Picked up along the boards by Sackick. Looks to get the puck over to Vaggie Holahi. Smith's got it on the offensive end. Feeds it to Paco. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And he takes a shot. Oh, uh, puck doesn't get there. So crowded in front of the goaltender. And he slides it quickly to Vaggie Holahi. Takes the feed. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. Breakaway. Right to the middle. Oh, what a stop. Oh, uh, goaltender looks so sure as he made that stop on the breakaway. USA's got the puck along the wall. The Heroes play it along the wing. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. And sends it just out of reach. And play continues here. USA's got the puck behind the net. On the attack along the boards. Slides it back to the blue line. Couldn't complete the play. Toronto's got the puck near the back end. Here's a short pass to Sackick. And that one's broken up. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. And that's broken up. Takes the feed from his own end. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Taken by Smith. Toronto's got it along the wall. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Slides it diagonally to Paco. From his own end, he picks up the puck. And the linesman calls icing on the play. In the final moments of this period, we've still got zeros on the board. Nice job tying up his opponent. And he regains control of the puck. Pokes it away in his own end. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Pushes it across to Cherry. The Heroes have it now. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. There's the horn bringing period number one to an end. Still no score in this one.
Period number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferrar, was also set. Let's do this. No goals yet through the first 20 minutes. Let's see if this changes here in period number two as we get underway. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Man, that was slow, James. That first period, nobody generated any offense. Just a few shots to test the goaltenders. Stop that one. Squares Hockey's gained possession along the boards. Toronto's got it on the line. Now a quick pass to Sackick. Just wide. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Penalty shot coming up. The hockey equivalent of the showdown at high noon is set to go. Big save and breathe a sigh of relief. Only two guys moving on the ice. One of them makes the shot, but the goaltender comes up large. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We're still scoreless. USA's got it, and they're on the attack. Swing and a miss. Not able to connect. Cherry's got it in the corner. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Back to the point it goes. USA's got the puck against the half wall. Lowers the boom with that hit. In all alone. Oh, he looked good. this off. Toronto's had multiple chances and they finally deliver. The work rate for them has never dropped off, James. I like their game a lot. Finally, they're rewarded for all this excellent play. Vajahula, he's scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. Toronto's cut him along the wall. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Vajahula, he Sends a pass over. Cherry's gaining momentum. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Right in the slot. The heroes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Off the left wing and into center. Paco's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. USA's looking to break out. Moves the puck along the half wall. Paco's got it along the boards. And that's picked off in front. Quick pass to Smith. Toronto's moving it along the wing. Nice pass. the puck and they can't connect cherry's moving the puck through his own zone steps inside the line all alone sockets dangerous and he's got the puck now he had the go-ahead goal earlier on this one oh what a save in front oh he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save comes up with the stop well positioned save and he has the rebound over in the corner save made by the goalie and that's time on the period unrelenting but the clock just simply ran out wow that was impressive Been a great night for hockey so far. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's drop the puck on this third period. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? USA's had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pucks to the net. And he makes the easy save. 
Takes the feed from the goaltender. Now he takes it over the line. Slides it across. And that one's broken up. Carries the puck up through center. The heroes looking against the half wall. Denies him in front. Great tracking. He finds the puck. He gets the glove up. Makes the save on a dangerous chance. Denies him in close. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Toronto's ahead, 1-0. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Toronto's got it now. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. From the point, they take control of it. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Receives the pass. And now he moves it quickly to Sackick. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Scoops up the puck here. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Can't keep a hold of it. Picked up along the wall by Smith. USA's got a hold of it along the wall. They've got the defense outnumbered. Knocked away. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Drives it to the crease. USA's got control of it now from their own end. Tries to feed it over to Paco. Whiffs on that. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Vajahula, he's swooping in on the attack. And now it's grabbed by Sackick. Toronto's on the attack. Takes the pass. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Turn that one aside. Paco's got it in the defensive end. And now he moves it to Cherry. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Levels him with the hit. And done. forces a huge turnover here with the steal. They've got numbers. Vajahula, he's got the puck. Can't find his man. Scooped up along the wall by Smith. And he slides it quickly to Sackick. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Dead center. Excellent save. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Smith. Can't get a hold of that pass. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. The heroes played along the boards. Fails to find the open man. And that's all she wrote on that one. A shutout tonight, and more importantly, the two points. That'll be a nice little bonus ticket for him as you chalk up enough shutouts, get a little cash in your pocket at the end of the year, and a big two points.